God's plan for salvation of mankind. John chapter 5 and verse 24. Truly, truly, I say to you, whoever hears my word and believes him who sent me has eternal life. He does not come into judgment, but has passed from death to life. When God created human being he had close relationship with them. Genesis chapter 3 and verse 8. And they heard the sound of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day. God. Adam and Eve are having close relationship in that time. When sin entered in their life, the relationship between God and man broke down. Sin separated them far off. Isaiah chapter 59 and verse 2. But your iniquities have separated you from your God and your sins have hidden his face from you, so that he will not hear. Romans chapter 3 and verse 23. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Men tried in many ways to restore their relationship with God. He created his own ways of worships. He created the images and idols of his own imaginations and worshipped before them. They created an images or other material objects representing a deity to which religious worship is addressed. For the remission of their sins, they started sacrificing the animals before these idols. But the animal's blood could not give the remission of their sins. They are under the bondages of sin and curse. Men tried to find out various ways of philosophical methods to find out the true God. But they could not find any way to the true God. Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 4. For it is not possible that the blood of bulls and goats could take away sins. People try various ways to purify their sins by different kinds of activities like holy trip, holy dip, self-suffering, but none of these, purge their sins away. By these things, they could not find the true God. God's plan for salvation of mankind. Romans chapter 5 and verse 18. Therefore, as one trespass led to condemnation for all men, so one act of righteousness leads to justification and life for all men. Romans chapter 6 and verse 23. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Romans chapter 5 and verse 8. But God demonstrates his own love toward us, in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Acts chapter 10 and verse 43. To him all the prophets witness that, through his name, Whoever believes in him will receive remission of sins. Romans chapter 5 and verse 11. And not only that, but we also rejoice in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have now received the reconciliation. Death in Adam, life in Christ. John chapter 1 and verse 12. But as many as received Jesus, to them he gave the right to become children of God, to those who believe in his name. God sent his son Jesus Christ into this world to save sinners. He died on the cross and took the penalty of sins of men on his own and resurrected on the third day. 1 John chapter 1 and verse 7. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another, and the blood of Jesus Christ his son cleanses us from all sin verse of the day. John chapter 3 and verse 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Prayer. Dear loving Heavenly Father, we come to your presence with praise and worship. We thank you Lord, for your master plan of salvation to the mankind. You created all the mankind and when they rebelled against you, they lost their relationship with you and they become slavery to sin and death. You came to the world to save sinners. 
you took all the curse of sin on your body and sacrificed your life on the cross. Jesus Christ's blood can cleanse all the sins of the mankind. 1 John chapter 1 and verse 7. The blood of Jesus Christ his Son cleanses us from all sin. So if we come to you O Lord Jesus Christ and accept you as our Lord and Savior and confess our sins to you, you are faithful to forgive us and give us a new life. 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 17. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation, old things have passed away, behold, all things have become new. This is the day that the Lord has made and this is the day of salvation. Lord we commit our lives to you and accept your new life. Please Lord come into our lives and pour out your spirit of love, joy and peace in our daily life. Thank you Lord for answering our prayer. In the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, we pray, Amen. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, comment and share.